meat. So, your father okayed the meat, huh? How's he doing? <laughs> He's Good, recovering this. Glad to hear it. Here's your meat, son. You run along now. A new shipment of animals has come in, and it's time to start cutting. <laughs> Poor kitties. Okay. Let's go to... Ah, nightfall. <sighs> Let's go to the fire station. Let's save just in case. <sighs> Jeez, what are you doing here? <laughs> just standing here, waiting to be drawn. You just hang out here? All the time? Because he has no life. I'm not a person, Steve. <laughs> I'm an object. You'd do well to remember that. A person is his job. Someday you'll understand that. And if you don't, it won't matter, because you'll be dead. Dead? <laughs> Have you gotten your lodge application in yet? Yep. Good. You may <laughs> survive. Smile. I guess you're here to steal the bolt. Not at all. That's not my job. <laughs> However, since I am an object dart, and since art should be interpreted, I'll give you a clue as to where the bolt is located. Darkness gives as darkness gets, but light in bolt is light shed. Uh, the hell? Wall light. Maybe I need to use the fire ladder. All right. Yes. I did not take any. Oh man. All right. Did I get the cloth there? Where's... Yeah! There's the mauve cloth! Uh, okay. That was easy. That was easier than it should be. Having acquired a cloth, you make your way back to the house after an exhausting day. So I didn't need to go to him and hand him the cloth? That's kind of weird. Maybe I need to save it for later for a fashion show or something. I really hope all this connects to some weird ass plots, like the keyed car is the centerpiece of a fucked up uh, ritual. Maybe I'll be lucky. Who knows? See what fucked up nightmares we have tonight. A sliced throat. The burger and the gouged out eyes of Mr. Potsdam. That guy looked like a zombie. It must be tiresome having the same nightmare, nightmare, night after night. Let's listen to Dad's groans at the door. <laughs> yeah. It's 
talk with mom. Sick dominatrix Hello, here. Hello, dear. How are you today? You know she really looks farming? the part. The funny ones with the color sense. Looks <laughs> like they misplaced a bolt of expensive fabric. Of course, each one of them suspects the other. Looks like a cat fight is brewing. Congratulations, hero. You found Karen after all. You don't seem proud, mother. I wonder why. I warned you not to waste time looking for her. Am I running out of time? The blood drive is coming soon. What does uh -oh. that have to do with anything? Blood if you drive? haven't joined the lodge by then, you'll find out. Still, I'm glad you found the poor baby. She says Aww. Mr. Potsdam was responsible for... What happened to her? What a silly little girl. Oh yes, let's not pay attention. Neither can I. She should be spanked for being such a nasty little liar. But I guess being buried alive is good enough. They're so kid friendly in in this town. Talking about Don't penises. Don't put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. My poor baby, a sister there. Let's talk with Hank. Hey, it's too bad they don't give scout badges for digging up buried kids. I like to see what that badge would look like. I went over to ask her what it was like, being buried alive and all. But she just stared at me, and twitched, and drew her. <laughs> Guess I got my answer, huh? Yeah, you you know you know what you what you really should have gotten a punch Finally. to the face. Let's see, I got the paper. Good. Well, I can face the paper boy without being worried about dying. There now, see how easy it is. Things are so much better between us when you remember the paper in the morning. And let's keep them that way. See you later, alligator. <sighs> I need to get that disc sooner or later. Let's see. I should probably head to lodge with the cloth. And get my next assignment. Exquisite cloth. It's lost. <laughs> it's still trigger quite a bit of dissension amongst our <laughs> gallant firefighters. Still. That is not your concern. Your next assignment is to break into the tonsorial establishment. <gasps> the barber pole! I get, I get to grab it. With his prized barber's pole. And uh, already here he got his thesaurus. <laughs> Lack of respect for authority. <laughs> A fine trait for a member of the order. Yes, I approve. <laughs> Stephen, I hope you succeed in your task. Break <laughs> into the shop, steal the barber's pole, and bring Ooh, it back to me. I'm finally getting At there. That point, I shall give you your final task. <laughs> okay, I need to get the pole from the barber shop. Oh man. <sighs> Stephanie in on stuff. Did you say hello to your father for me? No, you fucktard. Thank God for that, at least. Those silly willies down at the fire station are just <laughs> incensed about losing some decorating stuff. <laughs> some people. Yeah. Maybe they should be more concerned with fire and less with flame. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's go see Stephanie. <sighs> Glad to see you. I feel so alone, cooped up in here. You know the firemen? Someone stole some fabric from them, and they're up in arms about it. Yeah, oh my god, it's so horrible. Another harmless prank? And how many more harmless pranks will you be pulling? However many it takes to get in, Stephanie. 
If I have to use them to escape, then I will. Are you using them? Or are they using you? It was just a bolt of cloth. You've turned the firemen against each other. They think one of their own stole it. Would you rather stay here? I've heard that harvest is lovely in the fall when the leaves turn orange and gold and the annual blood drive paints the town red. All right, and what the all hell right. is that about? You have a point. Is it true? You found Karen? Yeah, just in time, too. He'd molested her and buried her alive. He couldn't bring himself to kill her outright, so he just decided to stick her in the ground and let fate take its course. I'm surprised she didn't suffocate. Who would do that to a helpless child? She says it was Mr. Potsdam. And I believe her. Oh, Christ. And all this time I've been under the same roof with that... That thing watching me. Take it easy, okay? So, at least they'll be coming to take him away, won't they? Come back and visit me soon, okay? Well, that didn't work. Do I need something else to steal with? Uh, I tried to use the ladder to get to the disc. Let me just show you that it didn't work. Damn it! Uh, well that didn't work. Well that didn't work. Well that didn't work. Well that didn't work. that didn't work. I so want to mess up that antenna. I don't think I have any money right now. Doesn't look like it. Maybe I need to make it night so I can go and steal the damn thing. Exquisite. It's lost. Still. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Hello, dear. Come to Why then, whatever are you here for? I'm busy making... Give my regards to your parents. <sighs> Is there somewhere else I haven't gone? Maybe I... Maybe I need to go and talk with the fireman. Or Mr. Jones. Ah, oh, the firemen aren't here. Maybe they're off fighting. Fighting around the world. The police officer is still standing there. But I yellow them. Boy, the way you keep pestering me, 
you think you were feeling guilty about something. Are you? <laughs> I'm nowhere near solving the Tucker case, and now I have to deal with a bunch of firemen throwing a hissy fit over some stolen cloth. Can you imagine? What the heck is going on around here? Nothing much, it's just Stop me on by. messing up. Well, uh, here's the fitting part. Let's see. I haven't talked with Mr. Johnson in a while. Maybe I need to talk with the Watts lady. Hello, Steve. How's the husband to be? How's I'm having the no memory. Time? I guess I'm all right. All right. You should be ecstatic, considering what you're getting into. If you haven't gotten into it already. <laughs> Speaking of which, I heard Stephanie was grounded. Her daddy's worried about getting his meat. So if I were him, I'd be more concerned about Stephanie getting some meat. Uh, right. And you are? You always were a kidder, Steve. Can we talk before I'm Mr. Mr. Johnson? Johnson? Remember? Glad you stopped by. Just got finished waxing the tucker. I could use a little relaxation. But since Edna's not here, I might as well talk to you. Oh, lucky me. Heck of an automobile, isn't she? Damn shame I have to sit out here and watch over her all the time. Or you could just but lock her up in the garage. Some stupid kids might scratch her up playing ball. Don't see why not, but don't touch her. I'm mighty particular about my tucker. I had the garage remodeled like a fortress, so that I could lock her up at night and get some sleep. I'm sure she's safe enough inside. It's kind of ironic that they're talking about this. broke into my house, trying to get into the garage. I had to gripe like hell before the sheriff agreed to start the evening patrols and instigate the curfew. Bye now. It's not often that I get visitors. I wonder why. I wonder if she's ever, ever going to talk about something besides wasps. But I wouldn't count on it. What the hell am I supposed to do? Missile base. I'm not gonna talk with the psycho half guy there. This is really annoying when when he gets stuck on these games. I'm glad to see you. <sighs> You're not making sense. Neither is anybody else in this town. Come back and visit. Was that a rat down there? I think I saw one. Let's go check the toilet there. It was clogged. Hey, over the key. Oh, we get to peek on her, her, her again. Poor girl. I'm crying. Yeah. No, I haven't found a flathead screwdriver. Why can't I take the disinfected band-aids? Those might actually come in sense. <sighs> K 
okay, I just got a tip that if you say molest to Mr. Potsdam, let's try yes, that. I... What are you getting at? <laughs> Watching Stephanie? What proof do you have? Now don't carry on that way. That's loose talk there, son. Do you deny it? What do you want? I'm squirming. <laughs> Squeal for me, Porky. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, those sounds sound so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my then God. you're not going to tell Stephanie or Mrs. Potsdam? I'll think about it, Potsdam. Let's talk about Karen. I... What are you getting at? I wouldn't do that. It's illegal. Not oh, to yeah. mention immoral. Yeah. I can't prove it yet, and you better hope I never can. <laughs> do I look worried? Huh. Oh, you sick fuck. Let's see, where can I get a flathead screwdriver? in this diner and because they haven't talked with her yet today. Bye bye. I can't talk now. The dishes are stacked up and back and I better take advantage of the lull. Mm -hmm. I feel terrible about what happened at the fire station. Those firemen helped me decorate my diner. I can't <laughs> believe one of them stole that cloth from the others. It must have been someone else, don't you think? Hmm, what makes you think that? I, I couldn't imagine anybody who'd steal a bit of fashionable mauve cloth. Where the hell is the flathead screwdriver? <laughs> Check the drawer on the right. Which drawer? In the diner! Okay. I clicked the wrong place by mistake, of course. It's kinda wiggly. Where's the. An unlocked drawer! Ah! Oh, how the hell was this supposed to. Straight set screwdriver. That was pixel hun hunting. I mean, who the hell would think about clicking in, in the corner here? Okay. Let's go and see if that works. Yes! Nightfall! Let's go vandalize the barber shop! And S. Save just in case. Barber shop. Examine the door. It's closed. Maybe I need to use the ladder or something. Well, that didn't work. Oh, man. Maybe I need to use the filter. Well, that didn't driver. work. Examine the door. It didn't leave a key out. Okay. Maybe I need the axe. Well, that didn't work. That's not exactly how a professional would break in. I beg to differ. Doubt the broom closet key would work there. Let's see, is there somewhere else I can work? Uh, I need 
need to do something <sighs> on the door. Well, that didn't work. Oh, man. Okay, we don't have universal keys there. Pen is mightier than the sword. Well, that didn't work. Okay. Well, that didn't oh, work. Okay. Why can't I just smash the door open? I need to. Oh man! Okay. Oh man! Let's try oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Damn it! Damn it! Well, that didn't work. Let's burn the place down. Oh man! Supposed to use the axe. Well, that didn't work. the glass break. Let's see. Screwdriver. Okay. Wrench. We spill that. Well, that didn't work. Well, that. Well, that didn't work. somewhere. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Well, some of us don't um, uh, don't have storms or air raids coming in, so I'm not used to using tape. This is you. Damn it. 
load game. Well, it's good at least. Mental notes don't use it straight on the... Probably some wire stuff or something that I need to do. There's gotta be something here that I need to do. But it's something about the sheep. But it looks like there's this. wire here. Let's just save save again here, just so I don't have to be bothered to... Is there something with the floorboards here? Oh man! Was there this... Yeah, light switch! There we go! Let's try it again! Yeah. Woohoo! I got the purple pole! <laughs> do, 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 do. Yes! <laughs> I still love the texture on that building. Control. <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay, Control F4. <laughs> Maybe this was uh, back when it was on CDs or something. Let's talk with the shit. Peace. Okay, I don't want to talk with you either, Good. Hank. Finally. I hate you too, stupid brat. Hello. Hello, dear. How are you today? Did you hear what happened at the barber shop? Someone broke into Pastorelli's salon and took his antique barber's pole. The next morning, <laughs> Pastorelli touched some live wires that the thief left lying around oh, and fuck. was electrocuted. <laughs> Well, that so dumb foreigner love. got what he deserved, if you ask me. Coming into a nice little town like Harvest and stealing business. Oh, Heavens, yeah. if a bowl and scissors were good enough for your father, I don't see why decent working folk need a fancy wop styling their hair. That's how it goes. First you get a sissy trim, then bang, <laughs> you're a communist. Remember people, haircuts see? lead Five to days socialism. And 1200 cookies later, the bake sale is already here. Where does the time fly? Those 1,200 cookies. How many are you taking to the sale? All about 20. The rest were stale. But the effort wasn't wasted. It's for a good cause. <laughs> Will you be at the school tonight? Uh. That's nice, dear. It's good to be open to new experiences. How exactly what? is this bake sale supposed to benefit no, hobos and drinks? I'm, I'm not Mr. stupid Mordenham enough to... The Wayfarer uh, Hotel uh, can uh, tell you more about uh, that. Uh, that. That's the way, way I can show you the rules now. Mr. Kipper, I could be like, uh, like, uh, eternal darkness. What does Moynihan have to do with this bake sale? He was the one who suggested it. I thought the Lodge was sponsoring it. Is he a member? No, but he has ties to the Order. And he's intimately acquainted with the problem. He not only runs the hotel, he's also the mortician. I think so. Good. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You yes, he's my new kid. Who is with me for them? See you the paper there, sir. Let's head out. And report back to. 
<laughs> there now, see how easy it is? Things are so much better between us when you remember the paper in the morning. Now let's keep them that way. Yeah, yeah. We got business to do. And here it is. The object of important. <laughs> well, an unfortunate side effect that Pastorelli was electrocuted because you left live wires in a puddle on the floor. But as though I wonder if I could have done something else to, you know, save him. Is that even possible? Maybe I should try it some. Yes, a barber cut down in his prime. <laughs> You're of so course, witty. You only wanted the bowl, but that hardly matters now. Your final assignment is to set a fire in DNA's diner and let the French oh, fry. Not Edna. Oh, oh my God. Yes. I suggest you succeed. Beyond that, you must find your own answers. Members of the Order must be resourceful and cunning. So must you be to become one with them. Tonight, the big sale. I think you need some breath mints or something for that sore throat. And you will harvest blood dry. Big sale! Okay, we need to burn down the diner. Sorry, Edna. It's... We were supposed to get to school in the evening for the bake sale. Let's I can't them. talk now. The dishes are stacked up and back, and I better take advantage of the lull. I've whipped up a huge batch of brownies for the PTA bake sale tonight. Special brownies? I just brownies? wish I could do more to help out those poor bums. Most of the bums that die in harvest lack the money for a good Christian burial. The proceeds from this sale will help Mr. Moynihan provide them with proper burial services. Doesn't it strike you as funny that so many wanderers die in harvest? No, it strikes me as sad. You have an odd sense of humor, Steve. <laughs> Mr. Pastorelli was electrocuted. He's dead. It looks like some thief wanted his barber's pole, but didn't think of the consequences. Maybe it's what the guy had to do. Maybe whoever it was really needed that barber's pole bad. <laughs> That's no excuse for hurting someone just, else. Just Even if Pastorelli were alive now, his heart would be broken. And what's a little profit compared to that? Yeah, she's sane. That's good. Bye-bye. Let's see. What am I supposed to do? Do I need some gasoline, maybe? Uh. Let's go... I, w I didn't want to go to the post, post office. I wanted to go to Potsdam Residence. Did you say hello to your father for me? <sighs> it's very important. Tell him. Tell him that I hope he gets better soon. And and don't forget to remind him about his promise regarding the meat. You know, with a slaughterhouse full of meat in town, what kind of nutcase would steal a barber's <laughs> pole? Oh well, Pastorelli won't need it where he is. God rest his soul. You're fucked up, you know that? Okay, let's go and confess to Stephanie. That was I'm glad cool. to see you. I feel so alone, cooped up in here. I understand that bake sale is today. Yeah, you'd think it was the second coming the way everyone is acting around here. It's insane. The maniacal attention paid to this bake sale. 
Like all the women in Harvest came from the same cookie cutter. It's unnatural. Unhealthy. Almost a parody of how things should be. <laughs> I'm in my window at night. I see my mother throwing out whole batches of cookies. Like an automaton getting rid of its surplus product. My so-called mother has been baking cookies all week. And then throwing them out. Better that. Than getting rid of us. Wait around long enough. I have a feeling they'll get to it. Yeah, this game is so I don't so know if you nice. heard or not. But Mr. Pastorelli, the barber, he's dead. Looks like somebody stole a barber's pole from him, then left the exposed electrical wires and some water on the floor. Pastorelli walked in, flipped on the lights, and... Know anything about that? <laughs> oh my god! Steve, that was no little prank! A man died! It was an accident. I forgot about the live wires in the water. That doesn't change the fact that you killed him. This initiation killed him. It was just an accident. An accident <laughs> which wouldn't have happened if not for the Lodge. Don't you see? I'm beginning to think that the Lodge poisons everything it touches. Harvest. Even you. Don't talk I didn't create this Stephanie. situation. Are you sure? Talk no. about not but taking however it started, I'm going to see it through to the end. Vandalism, theft, manslaughter. What's next, Steve? Murder? Look, I know in the beginning I suggested you might check out the lodge. I was more worried about getting out of here than anything else. But now that I know you, I'm worried about you too. I'm fine. A man is dead because of you. How can you be fine? You've got to stop this. Tell me, is anything positive going to come out of this lodge initiation crap? Yeah, or escape, hopefully. It just Maybe seems we'll to get me a that order of yours is getting you in deeper and deeper trouble. They can't no, make me kidding. do anything I don't want to do. No. What a bet. But maybe when it's all said and done, you'll want to do anything. You've got to trust me. Hmm, I find it rather difficult, you know. Come back and visit me soon. Okay. <sighs> and I really hope that Edna and Karen will be alright after all of this. Let's see, do we have what we need to burn it down? We got matches, maybe we should get some gasoline, maybe the postmaster has something after he burned down the TV station. Sorry, son. No time to talk. Well, son, the day of the long-awaited bake sale has finally arrived. Bake yes, sale! Yes, sir. It's gonna be a hot time in the whole town tonight. <sighs> Let's ask about gasoline. Don't mumble, son. Can't understand you. These people are fucking deaf. Next time you post, don't forget the zip code. I wonder what it would be like being caught in a place like this. Oh, there was stuff going on at the school. Maybe we can check out there. Yes, I'm. Yes, I'm a real, really care caring. You know, hoping that people will be okay while I'm, you know, at the same time planning to, you know. Burn down their livelihood. Hmm, there's no gasoline here, is there? My goodness, class, this is Steven. <laughs> he used to be a student here at Gein Memorial. Say hello, class. They're reticent. The educator's gravest problem today is the apathy of the students. What's wrong with their heads? I can tell you in one word, Steven discipline. Thank goodness you weren't a sulky bear. You were always a smiley bear. Then, yes, smiley bear. Do you remember me? Not as such. So many pupils, Stephen. They come and they go. But I can always spot those who were nice boys. You can tell from the forehead. The <laughs> lobes. Right, class? I'm glad you stopped by, Stephen. 
Would you care to say a few words to the class about civic responsibility? Yep. Not when you're stealing real. stuff, make sure you don't accidentally kill through. people. Oh, but you must, Stephen. A positive role model might be just the thing. Also, to maybe you should consider joining monsters. the lodge. Stephen, have Wait, you I mean, any questions the for lodge. me, or shall I continue with class? Ask away then. Remember, Stephen, tonight is the PTA bake sale. You'll be there, won't you? Mm-hmm. That's good. I hope to see you there. I really do. <laughs> oh, the baseball bat. <gasps> oh. We don't practice corporal punishment here. I've never believed in that old adage, spare the rod and spoil the child. The rod is too thin. But a baseball bat? That bridges the generation gap quite nicely. Oh, dear. Quick! Uh oh. <laughs> Just look at that bat. If an A bomb hits, what good is it gonna do to duck and cover? Yes! No talking sense here. Talking sense is not good. My stars, that was exciting. Oh, yes. Always exciting to badge the kids and harvest. In. harvest was founded by the Order of the Harvest Moon about a hundred years ago. For what purpose? Why, I'm sure you'd have to ask them. You'll find the members of the Order at the Lodge. Stop. Chillin looks stunned and zombified. That sounds weird. Even the paper cutouts look stunned and zombified. Engineered to sound good when played on the water. I bet. There was this gas can at the police station, wasn't there? Let's go there. La la la, just don't mind me. It seems that I got shaving kit. Damn it. Okay. Plunger, I want the plunger. There's anything else we can get. There's nothing here. I wonder how the fire could, you know, destroy brick. Save the game, it's Friday, Friday. Let's head inside and see if there's something. I got the ledger, so I don't want to talk with that guy in case.
Ooh! Mortuary, why not? Casket, a young man lies motionless in the casket. Red stains are visible on his shirt and boots. Is that really... No, what the... What the fuck is going on there? Why can't I... Is, is this some kind of bug? Let me just save in here. That was kind of weird when I operated it. I clicked once. Am I supposed to do something here? It doesn't seem like I can... You know... Stephen, who are you? I am Daniel Moynihan, the mortician and proprietor of the Wayward Hotel. Most people ask me why I don't remember their names. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Besides, as one who deals with the dead, I try not to involve myself in the affairs of the living. Totally Your loss of memory is of no concern to me, true or false. Ironic, considering my recent involvement in a charity event. What are you talking about? My complaints were central to the scheduling of the upcoming Harvest Bake Sale. I'm gratified the Order of the Harvest Moon got involved. The proceeds will certainly help cover my losses. It seems that, like some elephant's graveyard, people of low station come to harvest to die. They simply drop dead, penniless, and they all need burials. Like that corpse in the chapel, all dressed up and nowhere to go. No mourners. <laughs> no point. But I still must provide them with prompt burials by town charter and absorb the losses myself. God mm. knows by putting these people up at the Wayward Hotel, I do more than my fair share. So why must I pay for the coffins and burial materials as well? My losses to the because dead are substantial. Life sucks. Hopefully, the bake sale will offset some of them. You know, I seem to have misplaced a ledger. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Nope. Not a thing. How strange. You're the only visitor I've had in days. Except for Mr. Potsdam on Tuesday night, that is. Oh? I can't imagine what else could have happened to it. Perhaps the dead walk again and they're hungry for literature. At any mm -hmm. rate, should any of them show those ledgers around, they'll wish they'd stayed in their graves. I do hope you'll attend the bake sale and spend heavily. It's for the needy, you know. Sure. And all they have to do to benefit is die. A ditch makes a poor resting place. You'll need to learn that. If you ever want to leave Harvest. You make it sound like I have a choice. A choice that is rapidly vanishing. Join the lodge, Stephen, while you may. The corpse reclining in the chapel right now is a prime example of the difficulties I face. For unfathomable reasons, this bum decided to wander into harvest and summarily drop dead. Just like that. Indeed. He died of purely natural mm -hmm. causes. Sure he of did. that I have no doubt. And I'm sure but the lodge is tonight? not uh, connected. You say this happens often. Isn't that a little too much of a coincidence? I've often puzzled over the situation myself. Though I can assure you, young man, that nothing untoward is happening in Harvest. No. Nope, On the contrary, nothing. it's an indication of our compassion that I put up hobos in the Wayward Hotel. And the Order of the Harvest Moon mandates their prompt burial, even when they are without family or means, and when it entails losses on my part. Mm hmm. Yeah, poor you. I really feel sorry for you. I'd say it's been a pleasure, but I find the company of the living so wearisome. Hmm. 
to start to hell. You can't have. I was only gonna. Indeed. About the fact that you lied to me about that corpse in the other Ooh. room. John Doe? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. If he just dropped dead, where did all those slashes come from? Mm -hmm. I don't know what slashes you're referring to. They were there. Do you have any proof of these wild claims? Any tangible evidence? If not, I suggest you leave me to my work. Maybe I need to take a photo of it. I'd say it's been a... Yeah, let's go take a photo of the body. Say cheese. Oh, damn it. There we go. <laughs> take, take a photo of the body. Let's go show the photo. Ah, you've taken a photography, I see. Now why <laughs> on earth would you choose such a grotesque subject? That John Doe you got boxed up in the chapel? He didn't just drop dead. Someone helped him take the plunge. Hmm. You may be right. I'm a mortician, not a medical examiner. You don't have to be to know that being ripped to shreds can be detrimental to your health. This is not something you, you want say. to be looking into, young man. <laughs> Got the goods, have you? You're in harvest, my young friend. Have you tried the road out of town yet? Do so and you may question exactly who has who. Look, are you going to tell me what I want to know, or do I go to the sheriff with these pictures? That would be a grave mistake, I assure you. I've told you all I can. My losses have been substantial of late, so I can't offer you money. The yes! only thing I can give you in I exchange the for the photographs is my tube of astro glue. I do suggest <laughs> you take it, or it's all you'll get from me. I get the glue! A wise decision. When a wasp's nest is stirred up, it is seldom the wasps who grieve later. I got the glue. <laughs> now what can... Ooh, it's night already. That means I get to burn down the drain and let's say... Fryer. Let's see what else we can do with that. Uh, let's use the glue. Damn it. Yeah. What else can. Let's use the. Oh, yeah, have one major to turn to the heart of arson is to make sure no fire alarms are functional. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Game and let's try that again and 
<laughs> get the fire alarms off this time. See, I was on I was on the right track, but I kind of gave up. Okay, I need to figure out what the hell to. How the hell to turn off the fire alarms? What can I do to mess it up? A baseball bat. Okay. Serves to something else I missed. Tampons. Damn it. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Maybe I need to use the Phillips screwdriver on it. Damn it. Hmm. Cough medicine pen. Cake cover! Damn it. What if I combine the cake cover with oh, the man. tape? Why can't I use the... Okay. <sighs> Tape. Damn it. I still think it, it's a good I idea to take the cake cover and then tape it, uh, you know, around the, you know, uh, fire alarm because then it would prevent, you know, the gases from coming in there. No, let's not do that. Okay. How the hell am I supposed to disarm it? Well, that didn't work. Uh, glue. Okay. Damn it. Damn it. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Let's see. What can I use the glue on? Yeah! Apply it. Oh, I was on the right track. <gasps> I'm a genius. Ha ha ha. I was on, on, on the right set. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, burn, baby, burn. Please wait. <laughs> With Edna's diner ablaze, your task is complete. You carefully make way home to avoid any possible witnesses. <laughs> yes, burn diners so people don't get their food. <laughs> it's so evil. to sleep after a burning shit. F after a hard day's work of pulling pranks. Oh yes, it's so tiresome being a good boy. Joining the lodge like people tell me to. And he still seems to have the same fucked up nightmare. Yeah, let's skip this. And get to the morning. Ah, oh, let's see. Get the newspaper. It's so What is it now? Hank? What? Yeah, Why are you TV? sitting in front of that blank TV? Someone burnt down the TV channel. There's nothing on. <laughs> nothing on. Honestly, <laughs> Hank, you're acting like an alcoholic. I told you all that TV would hurt you. Watching TV don't hurt me, Mom. But not watching TV hurts bad. If I find out who burnt down the TV station, I'll make him wish he was one of those damn Indians. <laughs> Good. Let's talk with Psycho Mom. Hello, dear. How are you today? The Brilliant. nerve of some people burning down the TV station to detract from <gasps> our bake sale. 
I doubt the perpetrator did it just to annoy the Harvest PTA. So the diner the and the tea I don't think so. Just six months ago, the newspaper building went up in smoke. Obviously, there's a firebug on the loose. Either that or a comet. <laughs> Steve, I'm so scared. <laughs> just ask Colonel Monroe at the missile base. He'll tell you. Now that the bed sails over, I just don't probably. know how I'll fill my time. Oh, I feel so useless. My goodness. Aww. What's wrong with her? <laughs> <My goodness. laughs> no, no worries. That happens all the times with little babies. Oh, it's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> you just pop them back in. Oh. Oh, oh my God! This is see. <laughs> as good as new. That tarantula she ate must have had wasp eggs in it. Don't you think we should get her to a doctor? <laughs> what for? She's got her mother. How silly I was, feeling useless just because there are no more cookies to bake. I can still rear my brood. And you've done this a really a awesome team. job so I far. Have a purpose again. Yeah, pushing uh, eyeballs in. Glad to see you're feeling better. <laughs> Mine, that fire still burns my britches. First the newspaper building, then DNA's diner, then W H A R. I sense a pattern. And any pattern I can't make a dress out of is no darn good. I suppose you heard about DNA's diner burning down? Sheriff Duane thinks it was a grease fire. Mm -hmm. We took a black eye on the bake sale, but I'm sure the Harvest PTA annual blood drive will be more successful. Overall, we made about $200, hardly enough to bury a dead horse, and definitely not enough to cover the annual blood drive. I do wonder what the annual, annual blood, blood drive, drive is about. Huh? If you knew how much blood we get, you'd be more impressed. Donations are mandatory, Steve. <laughs> if you're still here come Sunday, you'll be expected to give. Until it hurts, I suppose. Until it hurts. Even Hank will have to donate. Of course, Lodge members are exempt. Remember that. Hey, either way, no one's sticking me with a needle. We don't use needles. <laughs> the best line ever in the game. Oh. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. We don't use needles. <laughs> oh my god. She's the second worst mom ever. And hello, I guess you want the newspaper today, Timmy. Let's get it for you there. There now, see how easy it is? Things are so much better between us when you remember the paper in the morning. And let's keep it yeah. that way. Still want that damn disc. I mean, it's gotta be there for a reason. Let's go talk to the lodge member. DNA's diner is no more. Oh fuck! Edna herself. She was in there. She hung herself. No. As soon as she realized oh, what had fuck. happened to her beloved establishment, a true entrepreneur <laughs> and a credit to no. our nation. spoke with her for five minutes would have known what a tragedy the destruction of her diner would be. Still, you sought to torch her diner, and torched it is. You have proven yourself... Oh yes, I'm such a wonderful human being. <laughs> Two people are dead because of me and Karen is. This was only a trial to determine your worthiness for testing. Your initiation into the mysteries of the harvest will soon begin. Hooray! In the meantime, be patient. Protocols must be observed before initiation may commence. How I recognize this sign? You will know. When you receive the invitation, bring it here, and your initiation shall begin. Hooray! I'm so looking forward to this. And I bet- OW! Oh my god, I freaked out there! What the hell?! What the fucking hell?! What the fuck?! 
I don't like this. I don't like this. I, I gotta look into the kitchen. Okay, she's still there. You can't go into Stephanie's room till the sheriff gets here. <laughs> I couldn't say. It's so embarrassing. Feel free to help yourself to refreshments till the sheriff arrives. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go up to Stephanie's room. <gasps> oh, this is so fucked up. Guess I can forget about the meat, huh? What do you mean? Your dad must have pulled some strings. Be sure and check Stephanie's pillow, you lucky bum. What the hell are you talking about? You'll see once the sheriff gets here. <sighs> oh, man. Stephanie, Stephanie. Things will never be the same now. Guess I'll be watching TV nights. This. Okay, you can come in now, son. My God. Oh, oh, please. Is that what I think it is? Yep, it's a spinal cord. <laughs> He's fucking eating! I can see a resemblance, but I can't be sure. More pie, Sheriff? <laughs> pie. Oh, don't you realize what's happened? Oh, indeed, I do. I, I can just hear the tongues wagging at the PTA. W was it suicide? <laughs> I've never heard of anyone pulling their own spinal cord out before. Off the record, I'd have to say no. <laughs> no Off the record. All in all, I'd say this was death by natural causes. <laughs> natural natural causes? Natural causes? <laughs> Oh my you can't God. live without a spinal cord, son. Nothing unnatural about that. <laughs> Think I will have some more pie. <gasps> it's so wonderful day right for away. pie. You can ask all the this. birds in the sky. This is horrible. <laughs> Believe pie. me, you get to the point to where this is routine. <laughs> yeah. Because people get their spines pulled out every day. I've seen now, it happen all got, the time. There's that card on our pillow. Take a look at it. Yeah, that's the sign. I can't this read it. This is practically it. a confession. Confession to what, son? Murder. Isn't that what you're here to investigate? Son, you don't investigate natural deaths. No point. Then I'll get to the bottom of this myself. Yeah. I'm sure you will. Mm-hmm. Oh! More pie, Sheriff? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. Oh. Yeah, people get their spines cold. And pulled out all the freaking time. I don't suppose it'd hurt for you to take the card, seeing as it was addressed to you. Shucks, I'm sorry I had to read it in the first place, <laughs> but that's my job. Say, so, I wonder if there's more pie. Hello, Steve. Have some pie? Don't mind the dead, the, the remains of my daughter on the bed. No, Steve. We're going to put her in the crypt. Keeping bodies in the house is just not sanitary. Al at least she got one thing right. Okay, I'm gonna put her in the crypt. What do you want? Harvest will never be the same without DNA's diner. What or about without your daughter? DNA, for that matter. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. I guess we should... Save. DNA's... She hung herself. But didn't I get the... Her 
Jack's suicide was an unforeseen byproduct. Still, you saw. Regardless, have in the meantime. How I, I reckon get the, you would. Then I get the Im imitation there. Where's the card? Oh, maybe it's back in the house. Then I get the card. Let's go pick it up. Yes, I can. What do you mean? You're what? You. Ah, oh, I get. I get to see this scene, this scene again, huh? Can't allow you to. T She's Can't my what? She's my girl for any second. She has nice taste. You, you don't mean hat? Why isn't the imitation? Oh, well, let's note. No, it's not the note. Because I had that before. No, I don't have in my house. No, my inventory. Let's see. Let's see. They talked about the crypt, so let's go there and check it out. Natural causes, in, indeed. And do I have something to break them up with? Oh man! Check out the TV station since they said that it had been, had burned down. Say, <laughs> can you spare a dime for a buckaroo who's down on his luck? What happened? The whole shebang just went up in flames, and I'm looking to mosey on to greener pastures where the sun sets always golden, and there's always another savage to kill. Well, right now looks like you're one of the, those redskins yourself. Say, what? Ha the whole. Let's go to the diner and check. Okay, looks like I can go. Oh yeah, I can go in. I've tried so hard to find an excuse to keep on fighting. I can't, oh, I man. can't walk alone any oh, longer. Man. This diner he left us was all we had. It was always a struggle to keep it running in such a small town. And now we've lost it. I know that I can't afford to support us now. There's only one way out. I'm sure you no, won't no, be able no, to no. understand. The depth of despair that would enable a mother to put a rope around her baby's neck oh. and push her into the air and jump after her. I wonder if I'll hear her neck snap if she kicks around and takes a long this time. This is to so down. cheery and nice, oh, isn't it? I won't cut her down. I've got to be stronger than I ever was before. But I hope she doesn't care. God help us and forgive us, Edna Fitzpatrick. That's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> the 
poor girl. Molested and then, you know, killed. Oh. <laughs> He's sitting there eating pie. <laughs> Cheery and nice game. It really makes me happy seeing all these lovely things. <laughs> oh. Yes, I really needed to, you know, see that, and because I didn't already feel bad about all the goddamn things going on. Oh. Maybe it like was better <laughs> putting nuclear holocaust on this <laughs> Oh holy shit, let's talk to Mr. Thomas. Sorry, Steve. Too tired to talk right now. Steve, I was sorry as all get out to hear about Stephanie. She was a sweet young thing. I used to watch her walk down the street to school every morning. <laughs> Standing on two medium-sized apple crates and squinting through the crack in the fence on those days when it didn't hail. I can still imagine her. So pure and innocent, sashaying down the street while I tried to balance on the rickety crates and pressed against the fence with one hand to steady my hand. She never stopped to say hi. That was probably just because I was totally hidden. I'd like to think that was the case. I'll miss her. Good work rescuing Kara. Of course, you cleared my play with Edna. But I suppose a little girl's life is more important than my sex life, right? So Pastorelli thought I was going to I mean, I know tragedy. Of course. Pastorelli got electrocuted, but at least his pain is over. DNA's diner burned down. What a shame. Women running things, that's the problem. If she'd had a man around, that fire never would have happened. What a waste. Damn terrible thing, that business with the TV station. I can't sleep now. I keep waking up in a cold sweat. Hey, man, this I'm car. I'm getting some fireproof aluminum siding for my garage. Think that's a good idea? <laughs> hmm. Bye it's now. Good. It's good to hear that. That you know, um, what's important uh, in life, I guess. Let's see if the crazy wasp lady wants to talk with us. I mean, there's got to be a reason why this house is it's here. It's not often that I get visitors. Yep. Still nothing to talk with her about. Maybe I should set the wasps on on the lounge. Okay, I haven't been to the hotel in a while. There. Young man, we really have nothing to say to each other. I have a feeling your <laughs> image shall soon adorn my slab. How and nice. I'd rather not know the face of the meat I'm slicing. Your fiance's death was no doubt a tragic affair for those who knew her, loved her, and so forth. But to me, you simply can't get a nicer assignment. No organs left to remove, no fluids to drain, <laughs> solid parents, and no coffin to fuss over. I wish everybody could die as Stephanie did. Of natural causes. It's true, only her hairdresser will know for sure now. The WHAR fire is just another example of the vagaries of my profession. Odd, after such a catastrophic conflagration, not to have any fatalities. Disappointing, in a way. I might have gotten some paying customers for a change. Let's see. Maybe we should talk I'd with the postmaster, since he 
was the guy who, uh, you know, burned down the, the, you know, newspaper stand. It was you, wasn't it? Sorry, son. No time to talk. Neither rain nor sleet nor snow nor hell shall keep the mail from its appointed rounds. I understand the wedding has been offed, along with your fiance. Just as well. <laughs> she never got any letters, anyway. Hello there, young man. What's the good word? Someone burned WHAR down last night. No, it was really? You. I hadn't heard anything about it. And since I don't have a TV, I didn't notice it was off. Really? Mm-hmm. Next I totally time you post, believe don't you. Don't forget the zip code. Especially not since you talked about burning it down before, you know. Oops. Totally not suspicious. Is there anything at the barber shop? Maybe I get to see something there. <laughs> Look at the. <laughs> I doubt the sheep is on you. Think about taking some of that siding off my hand. My condolences on Stephanie, Steve. Sweet child. I used to bounce her on my knee. That's funny. She never mentioned remembering you. Well, she was pretty young in those days. I was warned what found Pastor Rally this morning. After he stepped in the water with the they live really wires hanging out. really have the time fucked up here. His body was so burnt, his arms and legs was blackened, fused together. And the sheep was well done, too. Problem is, both was burnt so bad. And the flesh all crisp and distorted, <laughs> limbs melted. You couldn't tell them apart. And well, I didn't want to take a chance on eating Italian. No, sir. I didn't. Nope. I tell you, the only thing worse than a fire station full of sissies is a fire station full of pigs, sissy. They're all oh. accusing each other of stealing some silk underwear or something. Boy, whoever said fighting fire with fire be happy in harvest. Cause we got a fire station full of flamers. <laughs> the TV station burning down's been good for business. Lots of folks are thinking of investing in aluminum siding. Mm -hmm. Nice to s I can't talk now, son. I'm busy with this game. That's a tough break, that Stephanie business. <laughs> if you ask me. She was the victim of a UFO. <laughs> Just like them cattle <laughs> and them horses. They stripped her and left what they couldn't use. You see, they use what the doctors call homogoblin in the blood as fuel. <laughs> homogoblin. And the eyeballs are spark plugs. They left one of her eyeballs, Clem. Well, they only need one spark plug, Pete. They's advanced. <laughs> yes, sir. Them aliens is wily. <laughs> I guess you heard that dang idiot Pastorelli went out and got himself electrocuted. Somebody stole a barber's pole. Really? The system triggered the sprinkler. There was water on the floor this morning, and the darn crook left exposed wires out. The Pastorelli came in, flipped the switch, and then zap! Well, maybe them aliens is hot for colored glass after all. Yeah, they're hot Ain't that for a lots of things. Head? First we lose the only barber in town, then poop! It's no more diner either. Yeah, don't they beat all? And now that the TV station's burned down, maybe folks will get off their duff and get outdoors. Live a little. Maybe take up alien hunting. Say, Clem, will aluminum <laughs> siding protect you from them this alien town. sensor jobbies? Nope. You show up on their radar as a hunter surrounded by aluminum siding. Trust me, lead's the ticket. Just my luck. Oh, okay, since, uh, since I got suggested to talk with the postmaster again, let's go back and just casually mention Arson and see how he reacts. Sorry, son, no time. Arson. I beg your pardon? None. Why, I think the sheriff would have picked up, and he's never said anything. Really? 
I beg your pardon? You don't have any proof of that. Nobody does. The sheriff stated that no evidence... Then how do you know it was a crime scene? Son, I have a feeling you're never going to get... But I got it already, you know? What has that sheriff... The sheriff? That pie-faced son of a bitch! Calm down, he... Nothing. N nothing. I... What has that sheriff told cat. you? The sheriff? That pie-faced son of a bitch. What have I been paying him for all this time? Uh, Calm down. No. Let's see. What the hell can I do? Yeah, maybe. Talk about the TV station. That's true. Sorry, son. Uh, maybe select. Seems that since the yeah. fire, <laughs> WHAR has filled the void. Now just as many people waste their time watching TV as they ever did reading the paper. Seems like there's less and less mail all the time. <sighs> Don't mumble, son. Can't understand you. Let's see. Don't mumble, son. Can't understand you. Next time. Oh, damn it. Let's go and see if I can examine. Oh, we haven't been to school in a while. Let's just. Seeing you here again, one would think you'd never graduated. Nostalgia is a waste of time, big guy. You need to move forward. And if you ask me, the lodge lies firmly in that direction. Mm -hmm. My condolences, Steve. When Stephanie was a little girl running through these halls, who would have believed something like this could happen to her? There's always a reason, big guy. There's always a reason. Always a reason. When I for went to get classes. my hair trimmed this morning, I imagined my surprise when I learned that the barber shop had been burglarized. And worse, that Mr. Pastorelli had been electrocuted. Harvest mourns the loss of an irreplaceable citizen. All of us will feel the loss only with the passage of time. When it rains, it pours. Isn't that so? First, Edna goes through all that with her daughter. Then she loses her diner. If that happened to me, I'd hang myself. <laughs> Let's see. Drop in again. I don't want some quality time again. No, 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 no. I haven't talked with my mom since I learned that Stephanie's dead. Let's see what Mom has, has to say, if she's not too busy popping uh, in the eyeballs again. Hello, dear. I just heard what happened to Stephanie. What a shame. Well, yes. Would you like some toast from our brand new Crandall toaster with auto browning control? Oh, what's gonna happen now? Couldn't eat now. I saw what was left of her. It was horrible. I'm sure it was, dear. I guess this reshuffles the deck, doesn't it? What do you mean? Well, the wedding is off for one thing, and Mr. Potsdam must be so disappointed. Going to the bathroom oh, will never be the same for him that, again. that he was peeking. Everything seems to come back to the lodge, doesn't it? Whether Stephanie's kidnapped or dead, I know they're behind it somehow. The ways of the Order are mysterious, but they've given you an invitation, something rare and precious. And if you want to learn really? the truth, you should use it. <sighs> I'm sure Mr. Potsdam was heartbroken. He's been trying to get his hooks into your father's meat for years. It was a fair swap, his <laughs> daughter's meat for hours, but then again, she's looking rather mean these days, isn't she? Oh. <laughs> 
I'm glad you haven't lost your sense of humor about all this. Oh, yes, it's I suppose so your amusing. next step will be the lodge, right? Mother knows best, dear. And besides, I heard you found the lodge invitation on her pillow. It's too so bad confused. that it's not in my Nobody's inventory. Nobody's doing anything to solve this murder. Don't be so lazy, young man. If you're curious about what happened, you ought to accept the invitation. That's nice, dear. Why Don't isn't it in my inventory? Did I overlook it or something? News, 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 news. No, I can't really see it here. Let's go back to the house since it seemed to be fucked up. <sighs> this is annoying though. Stop on by. Hello, Steve. Well, what family doesn't have its little problems? If it's not poor dental hygiene, it's a spinal column on the bed. <laughs> Where's the damn invitation? Can't allow you to take her remains, boy. What kind of sicko are you, anyway? Uh, the note is a blackmail note. See? Well, that didn't work. No, there it is! There! Oh. <laughs> Finally got it. It was still on the pillow. But why? Okay. Why, why the hell would I have to pick it up again when I was given it in the freaking cutscene? I swear, some of these games, they lack logic. Or, or they have messed up logic like this game has. Okay, let's save it again. Yeah, we got the invitation, and we also talked to people. I don't understand. The invitation was not oh! the blood, but the spinal cord. It must be presented to me ere I allow you to enter. Uh. I expect nothing. What must unfold will. You were provided an invitation. Bring me the skull and spinal cord if you would pass to the world beyond. It sounds like he's saying that I want to get the spinal cord if I want to die. <laughs> okay, let's go get the spinal cord. Oh, really? Okay, now it's not here, so let's get to the mortuary. Open and shut case. Maybe I can give the guy his glue back. Oh no, maybe it was in the in 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 the cemetery. Didn't her mother talk about that? Well, that didn't work. Do I need to climb it? Or maybe I need to... Oh man! Chop it down. Certain is something I need well, to do. Well, that didn't work. Need to do with a tree. Damn it! 
I didn't need to tape this too. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, fuck! 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 Oh, holy shit! Oh, I need to. Oh, damn! What the hell? What the hell is that monster? I totally didn't e expect that house itself. Oh, it looks okay. Oh, holy fucking shit! What the fuck do they keep in there? Uh, just look at this freaking crypt. Oh. This place is so fucked up. I mean, who the hell... There's bones and... No, I didn't want to look at it uh, it again. You know, it's m there, there might be more creepy monsters. That was one mean doggy. Okay, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna walk around armed for the rest of the game in case these... Those fucking things show up again. I mean, that was just... Holy shit, I did not expect that. I didn't know what the hell I expected. But... Ah, you have done well. <sighs> now, let the initiation commence. As your mystic arc, it is requested <laughs> and required. <laughs> now I wonder what the hell I'm supposed to do now. These things are getting more and more fucked up. First, it was by vandalism. Your quest. What is this? Why are you in a bathrobe? You must now enter the lodge. Initiates find it a hostile place. Ooh. Are you supposed to help me or get me killed? I'm starting you <laughs> on the path of initiation to a very special, very exclusive brotherhood. I am merely the administrator of a test. Whether you view me as an enemy or a friend depends on how well you're prepared to pass. And this thing? You haven't said what it is. Within it is life. a special weapon. Using it will be part of the initiation. <sighs> the two are intertwined. Thank you, she's Whatever occurs in here is relevant to the great question which you cannot help but answer. <laughs> what is at issue is whether in answering the question you will find <laughs> the answers you seek. You will encounter those intent on preventing or prompting your answer depending on how you look at it. While this is gonna be fucked up, is it, isn't it? Want to live? Dying is easy and provides its own answer, but not for you. Just tell me, is Stephanie dead or being held within? The membership director on the second <laughs> level keeps track please, of such Please, please go to human oh, resources great. for that. Then you answer. are against me. I am the sergeant at arms. I am here to ensure that the protocol are observed. Deviation from a protocol shall result in punishment. Remember what I have told you. Now, let the initiation begin. I need to kill more of those damn things, don't I? Yes, control F and left. Let's save. I 
because you're here. Excellent. Yeah, that's You'll that's find that's them that. through that door. Excuse me? You are the exterminator, are you not? No. In that case, I'm afraid you'll have a hard time of it, sir. Recently, the lodge has become infested by pests. They need exterminating, or, to be blunt, sir, they need killing. And plenty. We're not speaking of cockroaches. A bewildering variety of deadly beasts fly beyond. And just before the annual board meeting, dreadful. But, but everybody else in town is in the lodge. I only hope you can stomach what's ahead. Beth Evan, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, George Washington, Barbara Bush. Okay, Beth Evan is one that's really not... Ah, you're here. Excuse me? No. The second floor, sir. The entrance is hidden, but a, a little, little reflection. reflection should reveal the answer. I wish you good luck, sir. Uh, yeah, I only have that... That one, okay. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh man, that's nasty. What the hell? This place is just... Just... Examine. What the hell is the lodge? I mean, this, this kind of reminds me of the... Um... To saw mythos. Pool of acid. This is... <laughs> oh my god, that achy thing! Ah! <laughs> Let's do some crunches and mess it up. <laughs> oh man. Sam in the shell. Oh my god, this is so fucked up. Sam in the mushroom. Puzzle bile. Glimpse bones at the bottom of the stagnant pool. How nice. Okay, which way? I don't really w want to go into that whole thingy there. I'm just right clicking away. Salmon Pulip. This is just... Examine the growth. This is just so fucked up. Salmon the Sphincter. Puckering Sphincter Black Sierra Treat. Oh yeah, this was the part I was in. Maybe I need to go back and go through that other sphincter thingy there. Ugh. Oh, eyeballs! <laughs> it's an eye! It's an eye! Oh my god. I need to the wolf's ears. Oh my god. This game is so fucking... There we go! I'm brilliant. Upon leaving the strange room, you know, there's a burning feeling on your skin. You also notice a gooey film of slime covers your clothes. This isn't good, is it? I think I should save here, just in case. Uh, Eller melde dig fortelle skipet går ut i år Ligger an to i spann, snipp, snapp, snute Du er ute Ok, let's go the front door
Killing my clientele. <laughs> Ever since the monsters invaded this level, the members have taken to dining with the Grand Poobah upstairs. Actually, I have to admit, my last few meals haven't been up to snow. The problem is the freshness of the corpses, or lack thereof. Why do I See, have the feeling he's going to try up. killing me? The sergeant at arms always used to insist that bodies killed in the lodge be disposed of without trace. And so the members would bring me their business for preparation and dissemination. Huh. Sorry, you'd need to talk to the membership director up on two. Can you tell me anything that might help me? Not really. Oh my god. Meat. Oh, I love the meat. Well, I hope you're proud. Ever actually, I have the. Oh dear, you're not a member, are you? You're an initiate. Forgive me, I can't say another word about it. Can you tell me anything that might help me? Not really. Oh well, fuck you too. Sandwich. Bile. The bottle is filled with a vicious red liquid, which is clearly not anything as wholesome as ketchup. Gotcha. Let's leave. Ooh, this sounds really. Beer. What? Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I need to kill him, don't I? myself <laughs> Chicago oh my god that was one hell of an achievement oh let's see okay he looks kind of blooded there that's not a good thing is it Oh, hello, Mr. Plant. I need to do something. Do you want some meat, maybe? Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Maybe I need to use the bar key here. Check out the other rooms. <sighs> Toga. Ah, oh, I, th I think that I need to. This is a cloakroom, sir. By definition, not a fitting place to seek answers. However, it's plain that the acid from your ordeal is eating away at your clothing and skin. I need this five dollars. I need five dollars. Saki saki five five dollar. Hmm. 
Junior has. Why is the cow with four eyes? Something's gotta happen with the music, I mean. The music is kinda disturbing. <sighs> I mean, what the hell? Where can I get five dollars? Oh yeah, look at me. I I I I look like shit. I'm 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 gonna die. Well, that uh, didn't work. Well, that didn't work. I think I'm going to die horribly. Why don't I just... take off my clothes and w wander around naked? Maybe he wants to... <coughs> yeah! I died! Haha! <sighs> in, in a way, it's way past 3 a.m. right now, so I think I'm gonna uh, end it here and maybe can continue on Sunday or Monday so when people are around. But at least we can, you know, brag about causing some fires and some deaths and killing shit and dying by acid. Hor horrible stuff, really. I think that's that for now, guys. And we're and we're gonna figure out what the hell's up with the lodge later. So, thanks for watching. Bye.